guys, Dan here from You Rock We Drone. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on the DJI Mavic Air 2 Circle Quick Shot Mode. So we're gonna go through and figure out where to find the Circle Quick Shot Mode. Then we're gonna take a look at the different parameters. Quick hint, there's only two. And then third, we're gonna jump into an editing program. I'll be using Final Cut, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll see what we can do with the footage that we've recorded circling around us in post. And then lastly, we'll take a few different versions, play them back to back, so you can decide for yourself which ones you like the best. All right, before we get started, I'd like you to consider subscribing to the channel. I'm pretty much working every single week on new drone related content, whether that's pretty drone videos or tutorials like these and how to's on the computer with different editing softwares. If you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel, click the little red button down below and the little bell icon next to it so that you don't miss the next video. All right, let's get started by taking the drone up in the air. Okay, so you find the quick shot mode by tapping the button up top, go to quick shot and then go to circle. Now with circle, you only have two parameters, go left or go right. Which one you want to go, it doesn't really matter because technically you can always reverse it in post. But obviously if you're moving while you're doing this, then you probably want to pick the direction first so that you don't do the moonwalk in post. That would be kind of weird. Anyway, so I'm just picking right, what is this, counterclockwise, and then just I just draw a little rectangle around myself. And if it doesn't work, you might wanna come a little bit closer and then draw the rectangle again. And you can also click the plus button, of course, and then you just click start. Okay, and I can already see that I'm like way too low because I'm gonna hit the reads. So to stop this, I'm just gonna press anything on my controller and that just cancels the quick shot mode. So I'm just gonna try this one more time here. Press the plus icon so it's detected me. So what you can do then is like you can still increase the distance. And now when I press the start button, it's gonna do a nice circle around me, also known as the point of interest, but not to be confused with the point of interest because the DJI Mavic Air has an individual point of interest mode. And the other really cool thing is that it also works while you're moving around. You could walk around and it will track you and still fly the circle around you which is really really neat let's take that into post and see what we can do with it in post-production okay here we are in Final Cut Pro 10 and I've got a couple of clips on my timeline the first thing I want to point out here is the first two clips so um, this is the clip you've seen already where it just circles around me while I'm recording my video and then I've got another one here where I did this before and here it's just a smaller radius so the point i'm trying to make here is that the length of your video depends on the radius that you choose so here you can see the radius is much smaller if i disable that clip you can see he has a bigger radius and this video is 38 seconds long versus this one is only 26 seconds long so we don't need this first clip here so let's get rid of that and let's work on this clip later so let's move it to the end and let's focus on the exciting stuff first so um, i've already mentioned that it works while walking but the circumstances need to be ideal so in this early morning shot here you can see that the camera is quickly losing us in the shot and is now circled around well nothingness but I think it's still a cool shot that can be used. So I've got another shot here, which is a huge circle. As you can see, the clip is almost two minutes long. And it's a bit of a cheat because it's not exactly a circle. It's a point of interest shot. But the point of video editing is that you need and want to be creative. So let's see how we can merge these two clips together. You can see that they both have a point where the camera is over a pile of rocks so here and here so if we speed ramp from one spot to another then we can smoothly merge those clips and effectively create our own transition so let's see how we can do that so let's zoom in a little bit by pressing command plus on our keyboard and what i'd like to do with the most of my 
quick shots is to just cut the first couple of seconds off just because I like my clips to start when the camera is fully in motion. So here we are walking on the rocks which is quite nice and then here we're getting out of frame so at this point we're pressing shift b on our keyboard which brings up the blade speed tool you can also go up here and press blade speed we want to go all the way until the end here maybe cut off the last couple of seconds and make this really fast maybe 7000 we'll take a look how that looks like in a second and then the same with this clip you can see here and here we are over the rocks so once again we press shift B this is a very long maybe we'll cut off the first few seconds here as well and then now we've lost our speed control so we just bring that back by pressing command R on our keyboard and there it is again and since this is longer maybe you want to do 8000 and now when you play this back something like that and then we could let it play for a second or two or three and then press shift b again go all the way out there press shift b one more time speed this up whatever you like 8000 and then we're just gonna leave it as is and we're gonna play this back something like that and that's a little bit too long so we cut that off as well now let's take a look at this basic example here so again you can see why i like to cut off the first couple of seconds because there's not much movement happening in the beginning so here 17 that's when the drone is in motion so we're gonna get rid of that first bit i'm gonna play this back one two three shift b here we go around shift b one two shift b and then all the way to the end and shift b one more time so you can see we have two long sections and we want to speed them both up to 5000 and 5000 as well so it's consistent and if we play this back you can see it's circling around us speeding up circling around us and then you can zoom into your episode if you're doing YouTube episodes like I do. Okay, and to make the whole thing a little bit more interesting, we want to add some sound, some swoosh effects to make it a little bit more cinematic. So the first thing you want to do is press Shift Z on your keyboard to be able to see your whole timeline. I have some sound effects downloaded off the internet. You can find them all over the place. So um, this one here is rather short, so I'm going to find a nice and short one. Maybe something like this, put it over there, have the swoosh happening right where most of the motion is happening. If I play this back, nice, that sounds beautiful. This one here you can see is a little bit longer, so maybe we'll grab a longer one. Again, you want most of the swoosh happening where, where you're speed ramping, where it's really fast. But to make it sound a little bit more realistic, you want it to be a little bit towards the end. Something like this, maybe. We're gonna have two short ones again. I'm pressing I on my keyboard to set an in point here in my sound effect. And then O to set an out point. And I place it right over here. See how that sounds? That sounds perfect. And I can just copy and paste it by pressing Command C and Command V. Again, I'm, I'm going to line it back up over here, see how that looks like, and that is, looks perfect, sounds perfect, beautiful, and those are just some ideas what you can do with the Circle Quick Shot of the DJI Mavic Air 2. <music>
right, I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned what the circle quick shot mode on the DJI Mavic Air 2 is. And I hope you also learned something like what you can do with it in terms of post-production, make it prettier, make it look a little bit more epic, doing some speed ramps, all that kind of good stuff. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. That'd be highly appreciated. It really makes a difference. And also if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. There's gonna be new drone related stuff on the channel every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.